Hey, what's up everyone? How are you all doing? Now, quickly before I get into this video, I wanted to ask your opinion. In some of my recent Twitch streams and on my Discord, I've been getting asked a lot if I was ever going to set up my own t-shirt store or sell my own t-shirts from Designed by Humans or by Teespring or by Spreadshirt. And honestly, I don't know if this is something that any of you guys would be interested in. So I'm a little bit skeptical of setting one up as I've never done it before and it would be totally new to me. And my channel is still pretty damn small in the grand scale of things when you look at other uh, YouTube channels. So please do me a favor and let me know in the comment section below if this would actually interest you guys or not, since your opinion is what means the most to me. Now, on to the actual video. In Warframe, sniper rifles are a little bit of a love-hate weapon with the community. However, with the right Warframe, they can be incredible. But out of the five top-tier sniper rifles we have right now, which one is the best one? Not which one is your favorite one, but which one is probably the best overall sniper rifle? Because I've been using sniper rifles a lot lately, and I've covered most of them in recent videos, so I thought that this topic might be fun to cover. Now, I'm going to quickly go over the pros and cons of sniper rifles like the Volcar Wraith, the Vectus Prime, the Lanka, the Snipertron Vandal, and of course the Rubico. And I will share which is my favorite and which I believe is probably the best one. And of course, this is just my opinion, so chill out, it's not exactly fact. I'm also not going to cover the normal variants of these weapons, like the normal Vectus, or the normal Volcar, or the normal Snipetron, because the Primes and the Rates and the Vandals are more or less seen as better versions, with maybe the exception of the Vectus if you have that mod. Okay, so first up is the Volcar Wraith, which is my favorite sniper rifle in the game right now. It is an impact-based sniper rifle that can increase its overall damage out Output with its three different zoom levels up to as much as a maximum of 20%. You can also equip the Lasting Purity Syndicate mod, which will further increase your damage output when zoomed in. It's also got eight rounds in the magazine, which means you can have a good sustained DPS compared to other sniper rifles, whereas you're not reloading as often, and it's got a decent 25% status chance. Now, on the bad side, it's got a three second reload timer, which can be painful and its crit chance is only 20%. Because of its slow reload and the fact that its combo counter resets after five seconds, it makes keeping the combo counter up pretty damn hard unless you've modded it with a Harkonnar scope in mind. The visuals, of course, of its scope as well are also complete ass. Although this is my favorite weapon, the one thing I hate the most about it is its goddamn visuals on its scope. It's really, really ugly. Now, the reason I like the Volcar Wraith so much is a mix of the almost constant stagger when you hit enemies because, of course, it is an impact-based weapon, the Syndicate proc from Lasting Purity, which heals you and deals corrosive damage, and the fact that it has a larger magazine, which makes it not as punishing, I guess, if you miss a shot compared to other sniper rifles. Now, don't get me wrong, the Lanka has a larger magazine size, but it also has that charge up time for each shot, which of course brings me perfectly on to the next weapon, which is the Lanka, an electric based sniper rifle with a charge up mechanic that deals huge amounts of damage when fully charged up. It's got a five meter innate punch through, which will allow you to deal with multiple enemies if they're lined up properly. And it's a weapon that can hit red crits due to its zoom levels, increasing your crit chance to a maximum of an extra 50% crit chance with a maxed point strike equipped as well is how you will get the red crits. So right now, the Lanka is seen by most as the single best sniper rifle in the game. And I will agree that its large magazine size, its 10 second combo counter reset timer, and its red crit capability, and the fact that when modded for gas and electric, it will melt whole crowds of enemies all of this makes the Lanka an amazing weapon, and like I said, it has a 10 round magazine, and the disadvantages of the Lanka are pretty minimal. It's a projectile based weapon, which for some people, they really don't like those kinds of weapons, because you need to lead your targets or you will miss your shots. If you fire a half charge shot, you will deal significantly lower damage, and like I said, it's a charge up weapon, which can be enough to put people off using it just to begin with. Is this the best sniper rifle in the game right now? Now, as much as I love my Volcar Wraith, I think the Lanka is 
probably the top dog in the game right now when it comes to sniper rifles but you guys can share your own opinions in the comment section below like i said earlier this is just my opinion which moves us nicely on to the next sniper rifle which is the Snipetron Vandal. It's an old event weapon which can now pop up in the sortie rewards table so you can still get your hands on it. This weapon is a puncture based hit scan sniper rifle which makes it ideal for armoured targets or for running solo if you prefer to run solo in the game. It's also got a 3 meter innate punch through which is great for taking out multiple targets like the Lanka as well and it has a 25% crit chance which is good it comes with two different zoom levels which can increase your overall damage output by a maximum of 15% of an increase but it's only got six rounds in the magazine and it has a two second reload timer which makes keeping up your combo counter near impossible since the reset timer is three seconds long harken our scope yet again where art thou because you might need it to keep the combo counter up on this weapon that is once you're not missing shots to begin with now probably the best thing about the snipetron vandal is its punch through that's why i personally like the weapon and that's why a lot of people that i play with like the snipetron vandal lining up those shots and killing multiple enemies in a line with one shot is absolutely great and you won't need to charge it like you do with the lanka because because it's got a nice punch through as well the scope visuals on the uh, snipetron vandal are also really nice as well the vulcar rate and the rubico have some of the ugliest scopes in the game right now but this one is really easy to look at which of course leads us on to the next sniper rifle and the second last on the list which is the rubico like i said with that ugly kind of seaweed scope this is another impact based sniper rifle much like the vulcar wraith which means you can stagger enemies on almost every shot but the Rubico boasts the highest critical multiplier of all sniper rifles in the game and with its two different zoom levels you can also increase your critical damage output by an extra 50% so you can see some pretty damn large numbers with the Rubico once you start getting those critical hits and they are really nice to see however its combo reset timer is just over two seconds and the weapon itself has a three second reload time which is just crazy bad and yes its initial shot combo is only one shot which means your combo will start to build after that first shot providing you don't keep missing any but after you've emptied your magazine that combo counter will drop back down to zero because your reload timer is longer than the reset timer unless of course yet again Harkonar scope but Harkonar scope is one of those mods and I've mentioned it a few times now it's a personal preference a lot of players like it other players don't like it pretty much like sniper rifles in the game to begin with you could also mod for a larger magazine with the Rubico but that's entirely up to you as well if you want to trade out that overall damage for having more shots in your clip. The Rubico is definitely a really good weapon and the damage it deals is incredibly nice but the small magazine is what puts me off running with it personally and yet again that is a personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think of the Rubico in the comments section below. Which of course leads us up to the next and final sniper rifle on the list of our top tier sniper rifles which is the Vectus Prime. The one sniper rifle on the list where the normal variant, the Vectus, can be seen as just as good if you have that one really rare mod. Of course that rare mod is Primed Chamber. The Vectus Prime is another puncture based sniper rifle and one with a two round magazine and an incredibly fast reload time. If you equip depleted reload, you will drop that magazine size down to a one shot sniper, which is how I choose to run it. And it feels damn good popping in and out of the zoom and getting your shots on target. With the reload timer under a second and a combo counter having a three second reset timer, it makes keeping up your combo counter a lot easier providing you're not like me and you keep missing your shots. It's a hit scan weapon as well, so where you aim is exactly where you hit, not like the Lanka where you might have to aim a little bit in front of an enemy because it is a projectile based weapon. The Vectus Prime has a 30% status chance on it as well and both of its zoom levels will increase your overall damage up to a maximum of an extra 20%. Pretty much like all sniper rifles, it's incredibly ammo efficient. And like I said at the start, if you're running with a Warframe that 
complement sniper rifles like a slow nova and ice wave frost a bastille voban or any other crowd control frame in the game right now that allows you to hit those headshot with ease the vectors prime is a whole lot of fun to run with and it is incredibly good so all of these sniper rifles are really good and all of us will have our likes and our dislikes and our own favorite sniper rifle to run with that of course is if you enjoy sniper rifles to begin with because like i said a lot of people don't like them because i guess enemies can kind of move a little bit erratically which can lead you to miss shots because of that i guess the bodies can be facing one way and our heads can be facing another so it's hard to tell which way at times enemies are actually going to move which can put people off using sniper rifles now me i love my volcar wraith i love the large magazine size the stagger the lasting purity syndicate effect that can heal me and deal that corrosive damage the rubico deals really nice high critical damage numbers there's no denying that whatsoever and the sniper Cybertron has that innate punch through that a lot of players really like. The Vectus Prime has that awesome feeling of popping in and out of the zoom levels and hitting those headshots. That's kind of what I like about it the most. It reminds me of Battlefield 4 and playing with the uh, M4OA5 like a bolt action kind of sniper rifle even though it's not but I do honestly feel like the Lanka has too much to offer and that's why it's probably a better sniper rifle than the rest of course the Volcar might have a higher overall I guess sustained DPS but the Lanka can wipe out large groups of enemies if you've built it for gas and electric plus the fact that it has a sheer five meters of innate punch through is amazing but as I've said multiple times, these are just my opinions. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What you believe is the best sniper rifle. Not what's your favourite, but what you believe is the best one. Also, let me know what you think of the t-shirt idea that I said at the start of the video. If you're an artist, then feel free by all means to tweet me some images or ideas because I will be looking for someone to do the artwork for the t-shirt as well. Hit that like button if you enjoy the video or don't if you don't. Subscribe for more Warframe and as always, thanks very much for watching.